My name is Dr. Sahil Khanna, and I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. My primary interests include C. difficile infection, both research and clinical care. We here at Mayo Clinic are now performing a novel and new treatment for C. difficile infection called stool transplant or fecal microbiota transplantation. The rationale behind this treatment is to restore a patient's gut flora with healthy microbes. The process of stool transplant involves the replenishment of healthy bacteria into a patient's colon with C. difficile infection. Typically, we perform this using a colonoscope. In order to get this procedure at Mayo Clinic, we, our criteria include that patients should have had either three episodes of C. difficile infection not responding to conventional therapies or who are having C. difficile infection that is refractory to conventional therapies. The procedure is usually completed over a course of two days for two different visits. Prior to patients coming here, we recommend them sending their records to us to determine eligibility. Patients are then advised to either identify a donor at home who is usually a family relative. Donors are screened for infections using blood tests for HIV, chronic hepatitis, and syphilis, and for stool tests for several infections. Donors are also screened by a battery of history questions for antibiotic exposure, hospitalization, and other risk factors that can determine their eligibility as a donor. Once a donor is identified, we ask the patients to come in person for an appointment, which includes explanation of the procedure, including risk factors, benefits, and alternatives. Patients also undergo a battery of screening blood tests prior to the procedure. The procedure involves the patients to undergo colonoscopy preparation to clean out their colon, which involves drinking of a liquid solution to clean out the colon. Donor stool is collected the morning of the procedure. 50 grams or less than two ounces of donor stool is used and processed in state of art labs here at Mayo Clinic using blenders specifically dedicated to this procedure. A stool slurry is prepared and placed on ice until the procedure can be done. Once the donor material is prepared, the patient undergoes a colonoscopy and using a colonoscope, 250 ml of prepared stool slurry is infused into the cecum of the patient. In addition, we ask the patients to stop all antibiotic treatments for C. difficile the day before the procedure. These antibiotics continue to be stopped after the procedure is done. The usual response time is one to three days. We are very delighted that we are able to offer this procedure to our patients with relapsing and refractory C. difficile infection.